Make it month 12 and we're going to do some cuttlefish casting. So this is a cuttlefish bone that one of my students found on the beach. And the first thing I need to do is just chop it into a more manageable shape. So I'm going to cut the ends off with a jeweler's saw and get rid of these crusty bits. Next up I've got to chop it down the middle. I've got two halves of cuttlefish bone and the next thing I need to do is give them a little sand so I'm going to go outside and put a dust mask on to do that. To smooth it I just took it outside and rubbed the two pieces together until it was a nice flat surface. And now I'm going to take the thing that I want to cast, I've got this little horse um, cocktail stick. I'm going to put it on one side. Oh, just double check these. What's the up and what's the down? That way. Put it on one side, grab the other side. Well, I might push it in a little bit first. Grab the other side and push them together. pushed too hard and cracked it so I'm going to go for the other side. I'm just taking a bit more time this time so I'm pushing it in with my fingers but supporting the other side with the rest of my hand. Then I'll take the other side. So. And keep going until they're nice and tight together. And Kerry stood silently next to me, not wanting to make any noise. <laughs> Just... Right, and then before I take it apart, especially because it's slightly misaligned, I need to draw some guidelines so I know how to line it up. Now I just need to widen the channel. Line my guidelines up as I need to wrap it with the binding wire to hold it in place as tight as it will go. And then I'm going to cut this with my saw just so it's lined up and I don't have this gap. You can see it's been closed, it's bound tight, the guidelines are matching up and I've got my channel to pour my metal into in a moment. Just going to clear it out a little bit more. 